I don't know about you, but spiritual awakening sounds kind of weird to me and it's never been a thing that I'm talking about and I, I have a certain moment when I've become spiritual awakened. And I know a lot of people talk about this and I think it's more of an American thing that you talk about the specific moment when you realized or you got uh, a raise of consciousness level and that was your spiritual awakening. For me, I think I'm always, I've always been so weird that I haven't really felt a single moment of like spiritual awakening for me it has been more about like critical thinking and trying different stuff that has resulted in me realizing that oh shit i'm not my body i'm not my thoughts i'm probably more than this flesh and bones that I can see in the mirror or in the camera. So what is a spiritual awakening? I think it's basically different for everyone because a spiritual awakening is, is kind of like a raise in your level of consciousness and at the same time the destruction of an illusion that the system and the, our parents and all, all our programming has kind of implemented on us to think that life needs to be a certain way, you need to get a job, you need to watch the news, you need to do this and that. But once you start realizing that, whoa, there needs to be something more to this, what's the purpose of life? what's your life purpose and why are you feeling so bad what why is everything just you feel anxious and and you feel like you don't belong you don't have any purpose and i've gone through being an atheist and thinking that life is totally meaningless that doesn't matter what you do it's just like you're alive now and then when you switch off it's kind of like and everything turns to black that's kind of a depressing way of living life because essentially there's no hope and uh, what I see as a spiritual awakening at the moment is, is more of understanding of uh, the belief that there is something more that you belong to a greater sum of something and uh, my first experience is, is back when I uh, tried magic mushrooms for the first time and other psychedelics and I kind of went out of my body and I realized that okay there's so much more to, to consciousness and, and to being alive than just kind of the, the regular living so to speak. So. In my experience, like the, the spiritual awakening has been like a gradual, like weird, like first I go there and then I go there and, and now I've realized that there's probably more and I feel like I belong to something greater and that actually is a pretty relaxing thought and, and I feel of belonging just by being because if you go and compare that to like the atheist uh, philosophy and uh, that you're just here now and then when you die there's nothing left and you just kind of poof that's it that's purposeless life and spiritual awakening a lot of people say that th this is when you start to find your purpose this is when you kind of shed all the, the heavy things that you were carrying because you thought you need to do it. And then you understand that you are the creator. You can create a life that you want. You step out of the kind of victim mindset and the whole feeling like a victim. And you realize that, oh, 
you have the power to change every moment and i think the biggest transformations people have are those who are deeply into the kind of systemized nine to five work they 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 are deeply embedded in the structures of society as the society has been built for the last like hundred years i was never a part of that so i don't have that kind of experience i've never worked a job longer than i think like 15 months i was a professional snowboarder i've been living this kind of street lifestyle with skateboarding surfing and so on and then when i stopped snowboarding i just started traveling and then i did all kinds of odd jobs just to get money to go and travel and uh, i've always kind of lived outside the matrix if you will so recently when i've started to kind of go deeper into meditations and uh, i went to a chakra healer and that kind of changed a lot for me because I got into the present moment and I really fundamentally understood that time is an illusion. That if I think about tomorrow, it's kind of pointless because that robs me of the moment that I live right now. And actually, the only thing I can affect and, and kind of control is this exact moment i can control what i'm going to speak i can control how i move and i can control whether i do something or not but i can't control tomorrow from where i am now i can't control yesterday from where i am now and this kind of getting into the moment and and stopping and realizing like oh and and this is what like Eckhart Tolle has like this whole book like the power of now I haven't read it but I understand the concept because the power is now and I used to be like really lazy I used to be like in this victim mode it's like oh I just feel so bad I, I, like why is this happening to me now I understand it was my own fault and uh, even if in those moments I, I was like yeah it's this fault and and it's because of that and, and this doesn't work out like people said that this would work but this doesn't, didn't work for me now i understand if something doesn't work it's like win or learn and uh, that's how it goes and i i have a sense of trust in the unknown that i hadn't before because i was kind of afraid also because of this fear of emptiness of fear of dying and kind of uh, becoming pitch black going to a place that's pitch black and there's nothing and and kind of uh, poof you just fade away and and that thought is kind of scary so now when i think about it okay i'm a spirit an eternal spirit that has like a temporary human experience it's like wow that's cool so it kind of gives uh, a sense of uh, continuity it's like oh even if i die it's like oh maybe i'll just go to another place and and maybe i'll realize some totally different thing or i've changed shape or form or whatever and um, actually when i was in my deepest like shadow work and kind of this dark night of the soul if you will uh during the, the the whole lockdown thing that we had a couple years ago i actually had an opportunity to smoke dmt and try that and i got so much clarity and kind of comedy from that i i just like realized that oh we are part of something more and uh that kind of black emptiness that i was afraid of isn't necessarily true and uh, that's when i also started to go deeper into myself and uh, my inner work was kind of slow in the beginning it was a lot of struggling and i didn't really trust it i didn't believe it 
And actually, after the, the energy healer, I, I, I have a video, you can check it out. That's when the real change started to happen. Because I kind of got deeper and, and my awareness broadened on how I see time and uh, how I see what I'm here to what I'm here to do also I've been building like a personal brand on on X this platform and and now I'm starting to realize it's like maybe this isn't at all what I need to do and and because I went deep into kind of branding and and the whole psychology behind that but now and I also like I, I just couldn't get it why it doesn't work and and why I couldn't get like clients and and stuff that people said just do like this and it will work out but now when i i started to kind of go into this spirituality and and more of like self-awareness i call it self-awareness because that's like a, a more practical way of seeing it. it's like uh, all these tools are are tools to to kind of become more self-aware and raise your consciousness and the only way to raise your consciousness is to becoming more self-aware and to kind of let go of things. So that's what I've been doing. This is why I, I, I have a lot of videos about self-awareness and, and my journey. And I, I'm gonna continue doing that because that feels like a such more fulfilling thing. And th this is what they say when you kind of become spiritual awakened, you start to look for purpose and, and uh, you start to question everything that you do. And uh, this is the level I'm at now. I don't expect to be ready. I don't expect that this is it. Now I'm awake and now I'm kind of just, yeah, I'm cruising. Da, da. I know there's so many more levels that I don't even like dare to think about and that's fine and that's kind of part of the journey so in my perspective and and from my experience like spiritual awakening is an ongoing thing i guess like for some people it, it may be like a drastic like first hit that just shatters the the old glasses but for me and i guess there's a lot of other people also out there who who have been like gradually going and also like weed smoking has been a, a big part of of my adult life and uh, that's also kind of you raise your consciousness to a certain level because you just get into these alter states and when you do that a lot it's it's kind of a no-brainer of course you're not gonna be the the same person as someone who just sits and at a cashier at a store or something like that so i i feel excited about this and i'm really excited about doing these videos and sharing because like a few years ago i felt super anxious even talking to a camera and, and it was just like weird and i like I, I was watching some YouTube videos and I was like, yo, th this is so weird. Why can't these people just like, it's so easy. They just talk on videos and, and they kind of make a lifestyle out of that. And I, and I, I was kind of jealous and, and be like, like, I want to do something cool. And I, I overcomplicated everything. And now I realized it's like, I can just share my experience. It's totally cool and uh, okay to just talk to a camera and share that because I have some unique perspective, especially about living a uh, like unordinary life compared to the masses who, who went to school and got a job and maybe tr tried to work for a race and, and uh, like the, the whole corporate thing. I never did that. And um, that's what has led me to this journey I am on today. and. I'm excited and if if you feel like this is something that resonates with you please subscribe because I'm, I'm gonna do more of these videos I had a 30-day challenge that kind of ignited my my channel again and uh, now I feel like called almost every day to just shoot a video I have a topic in mind and it's like okay I have so much information and uh, knowledge and experience inside of me so I just kind of push record and and start 
talking and, and this this works for me and I, I've even tried like writing for like 10 months every day and it never really felt like this is my thing but when I started talking on video and kind of sharing and, and getting into a flow state of just explaining stuff this is when it, it kind of just clicked it's like this is probably what I should do and uh, when I go deeper and, and I, I realize that I need to kind of focus on my inner work and uh, I can share experiences on that and that's super cool. And also when I started to do more inner work, the clients that I have, I can transfer that information and knowledge to them and I've seen some huge changes and, and just like a one hour call on, on like the identity you need to become if you want to be like an entrepreneur and, and how you can crush your limiting beliefs by starting to change the, the whole narrative and the self-talk from the inside because everything is a reflection of the inside. The outside world is only a reflection of the inside and this is also something that I've deeply realized after this uh, chakra healing, energy healing session I had and I suggest like if you have the chance to go to a, a healer it, it's kind of weird if you start like analyzing it and thinking about it but the the benefits have has been like amazing for me and, and I've kind of trust the process I've also gotten really interested in this human design concept and 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 gone deeper to that and i realized like when i look back at my life it it's i'm a projector and and uh, the style of uh of like initiating things is kind of waiting for the invite and everything that has happened that was great in my life has been through an invite somebody else sees potential in me and and they ask like hey do you want to be the snowboard sponsored or do you want to join this thing or or something like that and the human design has been really interesting when i've kind of gone deeper and this is also has to do with the self-awareness and and uh, kind of the spiritual awakening because you understand that wow there's a system that somebody has created based on on the time you've born and uh, the place you've born and and it has to do with astrology and and there's like a lot of things that goes into it and it's so accurate it's it's crazy how accurate accurate it is so i i suggest you you google that if if you're interested it's it's really eye-opening and and it kind of helps making decisions so that's my ideas on on this whole spiritual awakening and i'm really curious if if you've gone through some kind of spiritual awakening and and how you feel about this whole concept and and if you've kind of started to look for your your purpose and and uh, what and following your passions because that's essentially what i think the purpose of life is is to kind of create purpose and what better thing is than following your passion and what you love and kind of just do the things that you feel on you on the inside and and uh, the things that you are good at and uh, like your zone of genius they call it so if that's something you need help with or want to discuss you can schedule a free call with me and and we can see how we vibe and if if you're ready to kind of build something on that so because my whole concept of building a business is to first become self-aware then you need to become aware of your lifestyle how you want to live and how you want to work and and that's kind of how you build a brand and business and uh, for me it's online because i value my freedom and location freedom and and the whole the whole potential freedom is kind of the name of the game so if that's something you want help me help with it there's a link in the description uh, that's it from this video today about 
spiritual awakening let me know what you think in the comments my name is mitz please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in a future video stay cool peace out